Hi, my name is Ben and I'm a member of the community-led team working on Cyberpunk Red for Foundry Virtual Tabletop. In this video, I'll be showcasing a few quick changes coming out in the version 80 release, which is due in uh, sort of late December 2021, just before the holiday season. Now, a lot of the focus from the team has been trying to stabilize what is currently already implemented in the system. So please do refer to the change log uh, that I'll link in the description for everything that's been updated in this release. The Eurobox ledger system has been updated slightly to allow game masters to modify ledger line items. So this can be useful in a situation where you may have given a player too much Eurobox or need to make an adjustment and you can do so accordingly. So what we'll do here is let's say that we want to modify this value. Uh, let's, you know, we'll create an initial value of a thousand dollars and we'll just call this an initial value. And what we'll do is we'll add this to the character. And we can see that the Eurobox is set to a thousand, but let's say that we accidentally want to, we actually wanted to give them 500 Eurobox instead. What we could do is we could cancel this entire line item by clicking the trash little item here, which says delete line, and it will come up with a prompt now, basically prompting for deletion from the ledger. Now it is prompting as well uh, with deleting this line item, should it also remove the addition of the Eurobox. So you can say uh, yes, and you can either say yes, add or yes, subtract. So in this instance, because we were increasing it by a thousand, we'll say subtract, that's now deleted and we can see that case is back to euro box of zero. For those situations where you need to modify a death save manually, you can now do so via the little arrow icon next to the death save number and that'll manually increment the death save by uh, one. So you can continue clicking here and that'll actually adjust the death save and when that's actually rolled, that'll count as a modifier accordingly. There have been a number of changes to the compendium icons that are available within the system. So if you refer to the compendium packs, you'll be able to see that there's a bit more variety in terms of a you know, graphical interface. Um, specifically, I'd like to thank Merendon, uh, who gave us the uh, distribution rights to use their images within the system. And also a thank you to Ryan W, who uh, helped to organize uh, some sort of a sourcing of some of these images and making sure they were the right color scheme to match with everything else that we have in the system at the moment. Non-lethal damage is now working as intended, which means if, for example, we've got a character that's using uh, rubber ammunition, which as designed is meant to be non-lethal, if you're dealing damage to a particular character where their health would normally go below one, uh, if you're using to the particular type of non-lethal ammunition, that'll ensure that their health stays at one and you can then roleplay accordingly. So in this example, we have a Mook that has a health of 10, which means they're almost out. They're taking damage of 13 points. So we select the Mook. Uh, deal the damage to the selected token, we'll actually see that it, their um, uh, HP is reduced by 9, and if we bring up their character sheet, they have hit points of 1, which is the uh, intended design. There have been a number of enhancements to MOOC sheets in terms of how you're able to uh, take items off of, say, a deceased MOOC, if you're trying to take items off of them. So to provide an example, if we bring up the MOOC sheet on the right, we bring up a character sheet on the left, there's been a few enhancements in terms of being able to take items or at least uh, move or change them on a MOOC sheet, which previously wasn't available. What you can do is if you hover over a selected or installed cyber item, you can actually shift click to remove the installation, which will then leave it in an uninstalled state and you can then copy it over accordingly. So say for example, if Case was trying to loot this uh, MOOC of their cyber gear, you could essentially drag and drop just like that and it'll work perfectly. I just wanted to link back to the uh, bug fixes that are available in this release as well. So as mentioned, as the system has matured a little bit, we are trying to focus on just trying to polish things as much as possible, but we are still working on trying to implement uh, new features as much as we can. Um, so you can see a list here. This is just sort of a very rough list of showing everything that we're aware of that we have fixed. I also wanted to specifically shout out to a couple of people uh, that are new to the system that have joined the team that are helping us. So specifically, I would like to thank Ryan, uh, Jason, and I think uh, Son Commander, who's helping us with some of the translation uh, strings. If there's anyone else that I've missed, I do apologize, but uh, thank you to everyone that's been assisting us so far with all of these fixes. Okay, now that was just a quick video just discussing the changes that are coming in the version 0.80 release. I uh, do appreciate your time, and if you have any comments, feedback, or suggestions in terms of what can be added into the system in the future, please do reach, uh, reach out to us either on our Discord, which I'll link in the description below, or in our GitLab. Now, uh, we are always happy to have new members contribute in any way. That could be artwork, that could be code, or even just making suggestions on the system. So feel free to reach out if you'd like to help make changes into the system in the future.